So we had three judges. So there was, you know, a vote. I was involved, but, you know, I don't have the final say. So um, here is the, I'm going to just read off here. There were so many beautiful paintings. So I wanted to give prizes to everybody, you know, because you're already a winner because you're selected to hang in this um, exhibition to be a finalist. But um, we, we organised that there's two sections. There's um, people who have attended beginner's class, like level one and level two, learn to paint. And there's also the master class people. Some of those people have come for some people have been five years. <laughs> we should have one like prize for the most number of years that you've put up with me. <laughs> but um, so we've got first, second, third for people who have attended at least one master class. And we've got first, second, third for beginners who have done learn to paint level one and level two. But then we went around and we were just going, oh yeah, but that one is gorgeous. And then that one's, but how can we not give a pass to that one? And then, so we're just going, oh, what are we going to do? So let's have some highly commended. So we've got some highly commended. And then we went, yeah, but we haven't, like, look at that one. And that's like amazing. And then so, so now I've got another level of, um, love this. So, <laughs> so we got a little, we're going to put little stickers on um, the love this ones as well. Now, if, you don't get one of these, it doesn't mean we don't love the artwork. You, you got selected to hang in this exhibition and you're part of this exhibition and you should be proud just to have a painting on the wall in this exhibition because they're all really good. So um, I'm gonna start, I'll start with the um, love this level. <laughs> you don't actually get a money prize if you get a love this, you just get lots of warm hugs from me. <laughs> <laughs> The first one is, um, we really wanted to have apples. This is beginners. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we really wanted to have, we thought we might have like a whole wall full of apples because everybody has to put up with painting an apple in class. But it's a really good exercise to learn all sorts of things about shape and tone and, yeah. and um, colour. So the first one that I really loved was by Brooke. <gasps> yeah. 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 So many people, but right behind you over there, there's one on a little easel, and it's in oil, and it's got this glow of light that is just within the shadow and up onto the apple that is just amazing. This glow, like my whole career of art has been to try and capture the light. That's my phrase. That if I can somehow capture the beautiful light that I see in nature and in surroundings. I'm so happy, and she's achieved it in a blind beginner's class. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well done, well done <laughs> woman. Apple oil is one of my love this stamp. I'll have to like put a little, make a little love heart sticker. We'll something. work on that. <laughs> <laughs> the judges love this. Okay. Um, extra more than the other ones that they love as well. Um, and the second one is also an apple. It's a watercolour. And it's by Joan Westaway. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful, so thank you very much for watching that one. Beautiful artwork. Um, so now we get to like, well, the next level is like highly commended. Um, and the first one is um, in the highly commended, in the beginner section, so people who haven't attended a master class, is the most beautiful pastel that is just telling such a gorgeous story and I just it just in, it makes my little heart warms my heart warms cockles, cockles my heart and it's called Sheep Crush by yeah. Mary. Oh. 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 Beautiful one there. Meredith Baxter, here's the lovely Meredith over here, who is the artist who painted that one that's going to get a highly commended certificate. Yeah. Um, and the other one that um, the judges all really loved too was um, a graphite drawing of um, the title of it is Dream Time. And it's the most beautiful little pair of drawings in pencil just around here of um, an emu and a kookaburra and the, the confidence in the drawing stroke in those drawings is so masterful we had to had to give that um a price so um that's congratulations karen lewis that <laughs> So onto the onto the I mean I don't want to say real prices but you actually get a like a like you know money like money in your pocket like, yeah like um, not just a certificate but you actually get some um, vouchers for spending on more art materials. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, speaking of art, art materials, we've got um, a lucky door prize over here. Make sure you help yourself to a chocolate. But there's a lucky door prize over here, and there's a beautiful little watercolour set with um, on professional watercolour paper of um, like adult colouring um, and some other little goodies in there. So make sure you put your name in the barrel, and it puts you into the lucky door prize for that little set. So um, I have to start for third place apparently. And so I'm going to start with this one, and it is um, third place in beginners is um, from the decision from the judges um, for the um, mastery and the interest in the, it was a drawing, um, and the quality of the artwork, beautifully framed and a beautifully executed drawing. Um, somebody that's going to say, no way, because, you know, the whinging that came in, oh, not good enough. Um, the title of it is Big Cat, Aww. and it's by Blake Blacker. Wow. First, time, first time he's ever entered into an art show. Blake, um, here's your prize. Come on, Blake, come up the front. <laughs> Up here, Blake. So we're going to put the little prize things on the paintings a bit later. But there's your um, no voucher. more nasty words about that. Picture. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you very much for entering in. We've got a oh, yeah, we've got a little photo. Is that okay? Yes. yes. <laughs> And then the um, second place in beginners. Second place in beginners is an, oh, we love this one. This is amazing artwork, and you might not even notice it. it's quite subtle and it's quite small, but it's the most unbelievably executed oil painting that we absolutely love. And the title of it is wallpaper. The second prize for, for um, Brook Lab. It's this one here. If you look at it really closely, there's a pattern of wallpaper in the background of it. But what we love is the colours in it, the the sophistication of the colours in it, and the sophistication of the brush strokes, and the subtlety of the wallpaper in the background is absolutely masterful. So, um, Brook, congratulations. Come on, Brooke. Where are you, Will? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well done, congratulations. <laughs> so come here and shake my hand and get a little official photo as a prize winner. Put in your um, resume. Oh, resume. Awesome. You're well done. Beautiful yeah. painting. And then um, the next one we've got is for a beginner who is another one of these people who thinks that their art is not good enough. <coughs> and this painting, I can tell you that um, as soon as it arrived, from the moment it arrived, happened we just went okay we've got these third second third oh it's oh, okay it's highly commended all right but what about these two they're amazing so the first one that i want to 
um, give a love this sticker to, stamp of gorgeousness to, is um, called Brumoso by Louise Clark. Beginners who want, I say, you've got to post up your beginners' work, and then some people are going, Oh, yeah, but look at stuff from Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> she just posts the most amazing stuff because Fiona's got a passion for painting and drawing faces, and she just nails them. Man, I just go, I wish I'd painted that. Um, so, fabulous work, Martin by Fiona Ormiston. Congratulations, you get a big, big fat love this stamp on that one. There's another really special one that um, we want to put in as well. Um, we've had a, a new person join our masterclass, um, and he's drawn this drawing. Um, he's it's a he, okay? That gives a clue because there's lots of ladies in masterclass. We've got this new gent that's joined us, and he is quite young. <laughs> <laughs> and um, normally I don't take young people to teach, but in this Jimmy, Jimmy's done this. I'll tell you what it is. It's this, this drawing over here called um, Deep Thought. Um, he doesn't get an, a Love This award, he gets a freaking amazing stamp. <laughs> But I'm going to give you a lovely sword. Yeah, I said freaking. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm on video. I'm nice with my language. <laughs> <laughs> nice sometimes it goes a bit rank, but I try and keep it a bit clean when Jimmy's around. I brought you up better so, than that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shame. Oh, shame. Um, this, this drawing, he executed that in uh, China Graph pencil. Now, China graph pencil is like a black waxy pencil which you cannot rub out. So he has drawn that in half a lesson, on his own, unaided, with a China graph pencil with no eraser. So that by a ten-year-old. He's ten. So um, when his dad, dad sent me pictures of what he had been producing, I went, oh my god, this guy's got talent. I had to, I can't let him be set out in the list with some dog. Oh, I have to go, I've got to, look, I've got to make sure he's okay in his art career. He's so precious. So um, we made an exception and invited him into Masterclass. He's been a pleasure to have in Masterclass because he's so inspiring. And he puts up with all the nonsense that the ladies talk about too. <laughs> Amazing. He's a wonderful learner. He, you know, really applies himself. He really practices. He's drawing all the time, and he's going to go far. This guy. So you're in the presence of greatness at the age of ten here. So um, that's that's definitely giving the amazing love this award. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so well done. Yeah. Um, so on to the highly commended. Um, there's um, the most beautiful painting that just is such a delicious, delicious painting that everyone who's seen it just absolutely loves it. Um, and it's a subject that the artist really loves to paint a lot. And um, the title of it is, is highly commended in advance, the title of it is Winter Woolly by Christine. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. <laughs> so if you look closely at this, she's painted this sort of snowstorm. It's got all the beautiful 
beautiful cool colours in it, but the snow, so you can see little icy particles in the foreground, but in the background it's all sort of misted out, like it's out of focus. It's like a camera shot with a short depth of field. Yeah. And it's those misty like bits of snow in the background have just nailed the distance with hardly any other visual clues that there's a vast distance and that the subject is obviously so dear to her heart and I just <laughs> love that one as well. So congratulations, that's definitely a <laughs> And the next one I want to um, offer a highly commended prize to is um, I've got a funny story attached to it and the people who were in class last night know about it. Um, is There's this painting that arrived um, and it didn't have a signature on it and it sort of sat here and then it got moved there and we hung everything and then um, last night no, <laughs> uh, last night she said oh if you're not going to hang my painting I need to take it home <laughs> and I went what? 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 where's your painting? We, you're accepted so it's got to be up on the wall where is it? where is it? and um, this it's, I'll tell you which painting it is it's this one here this is by um, oh, Kirsty no. Irving. Yeah. Kirsty oh. Irving. And um, this is a vase painting yeah. that I thought was mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that I had painted this and I'd forgotten to sign it. And I went, oh, no, I've got to unframe this. And I put a little checklist on. I said, deframe, re-sign, re-photograph, reframe, put on the database, make sure it's <laughs> And so I put it into the framing stack. And instead of it going up on the wall, and then when Christy said, well, my painting really sad face, you broke my heart. We, were, we turned the whole place upside down trying to find this painting. It's like, it's really precious. Where is it? And then I realised that I completely thought that that was my painting. So oh. that is totally, um, thank you for being so nice about it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, definitely highly commend it. That's it's a really it's a really good painting. <laughs> 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 Well done. That's a, like that you cannot fault that. That's no. a really hard painting to execute. There's a lot involved in that. That's painted in watercolour level two. There's so many techniques in that painting and there's so many opportunities for it to go wrong and she's nailed that painting. So you can brilliant one. Well done. So on to the um, first, second and third places for the masterclass. And these are just beautiful paintings, absolutely beautiful paintings. Um, third place is um, everybody that's come into the gallery so far looks at this painting and goes, oh my god, look at that. Um, it's got depth, it's got transparency, it's got complete mastery of um, oil and mixed media. And it's by Lisa Bagnall and it's called Viridian Adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she entered some paintings in the Marburg, Marburg art show and she thought, oh, I'll be, you know, I don't know where I'll go, you know, I'll just have a crack and do not. Didn't really think she'd do any good there, apparently. 
um, not like why, but um, she entered a few paintings and came away with something like six or seven awards, <laughs> <laughs> including like first prize, first prize, second prize, first prize, first prize, <laughs> champion, reserve champion. Like she got with that painting, she got grand champion of the Marburg Art Show. And she said, <laughs> We can't stop looking at that one either, so well done. Uh, there you go, there's your guys. It's a beautiful painting. Um, and then um, the first place for um, advanced is a painting that's got. Um, way too low a price on. I can tell you now, this one doesn't sell in a flash, I don't understand. But um, when we were doing the judging, we walked around, walked around, and kept going, oh yeah, but that one, that one, oh god, that one, look at that one. It's, um, it's absolutely fabulous, and you cannot stop looking at it, and whoever buys it is going to be looking at it and finding new magic in it for years. It's Contemplation by Fiona Ormiston. <laughs> fabulous for hanging here. It's absolutely, every single piece is absolutely deserved to be in the exhibition because they're all wonderful. It was a really tough job. That was a, that's not fun.